You're watching TCM, I'm Alicia Malone, and tonight's lineup has us looking at the work of actor Brian Donlevy. He mostly played supporting parts throughout his five-decade career, but also had a few chances to star in a lead role, including in the film we're about to watch. From 1940, directed by Preston Sturges, it's The Great McGinty. This was the directorial debut for Preston Sturges, who had built up a reputation in Hollywood for his writing, but had been unhappy with how some of his scripts had been interpreted and changed by their directors. Sturges made an appeal to his home studio of Paramount to give him the opportunity to direct his own material, but had a tough time convincing them to say yes. Eventually, Sturges won by selling this script to Paramount for the bargain price of $10 on the condition that he would direct. That worked, and Sturges' script follows the title character Dan McGinty, played by Brian Donlevy, who is able to go from being homeless to running for governor. But this isn't an inspiring American dream type of rags to riches story. It's a satirical look at politics. When the film begins, McGinty is back at the bottom, working in a seedy bar in South America, and he tells his tale in flashback. This is a timeless story with many parallels to today, but Sturges wrote it back in 1933 under the title The Story of a Man. He'd initially had Spencer Tracy in mind for the lead, but over the next seven years, his script changed stars and titles, including The Vagrant, The Biography of a Bum, and Down Went McGinty, before settling on The Great McGinty and Brian Dunleavy. Also with William Demarest from 1940, this is The Great McGinty. Preston Sturges had to really convince Paramount that he should be the director of his own script for The Great McGinty. Luckily he did, because it worked out well both for him and for the studio, becoming a box office hit and earning Sturges his only Academy Award for Best Screenplay. Brian Donlevy also received many positive reviews for his performance, and he ended up reprising the role a few more times on radio and television and playing Governor McGinty in The Miracle of Morgan's Creek, directed by Preston Sturges. Keep watching TCM for more in our look at film starring Brian Donlevy. After this break, we'll see him in another starring role, playing a husband who discovers his wife had tried to murder him in a film noir from 1949. Don't miss it. Next on TCM, Impact, then an American romance, and later, dames. Every night is ladies' night on TCM. Thanks for staying up late on TCM as we watch films starring Brian Donlevy. I'm Alicia Malone, and next we have another movie that gave this character actor an opportunity to play the lead. And he goes through a lot as this character. From 1949, Brian Donlevy stars in Impact, directed by Arthur Lubin. With a script by Dorothy Davenport and Jay Dratler, Don Levy plays Walter Williams. He's a successful businessman who is very happy in his marriage to Irene, played by Helen Walker, but he discovers that his marriage isn't all that perfect when he takes a road trip and agrees to give a lift to Irene's cousin, Jim, played by Tony Barrett. Also in the cast is Anna Mae Wong, who plays Walter and Irene's maid, Su Lin. She was the legendary Chinese-American actress who became one of the first ever Asian-American movie stars. She was born in Los Angeles and started acting during the silent era. She transitioned to sound pictures, but the production code hampered her career. And despite doing her best to fight against being typecast, Wong sometimes had to play stereotypical roles in order to work. Let's watch the film with Ella Raines and Charles Coburn and cinematography by Ernest Laszlo from 1949, this is Impact. Impact has an intriguing story, but the critical response was mixed. Bosley Crowther from the New York Times pointed out how incorrect that dictionary definition of the word impact was and said that Brian Donlevy had, quote, all the animation and charm of an automaton. I'm sure Don Levy was happy for this lead role, having played many supporting parts during his career. And he worked a lot, from his start in silent films in the 1920s through to his breakout role in Barbary Coast from 1936 and a subsequent contract with 20th Century Fox. In the 1940s, Don Levy made many films for Paramount Pictures, and at Universal, he starred in the movie that was reportedly his personal favourite, Nightmare from 1942 with Diana Barrymore. Later, Don Levy worked in television and continued to act right up until the end of the 1960s. 
When he retired, he was able to devote more time to his hobby of writing poetry, but passed away a few years later from cancer in 1972. Next on TCM, we'll see Brian Dunleavy in a drama directed by King Vidor. It's An American Romance from 1944, where Dunleavy plays an immigrant who finds success in America alongside Anne Richards. Enjoy. Next on TCM, An American Romance, then Dames, and later, Fast Company. TCM does a slow burn tonight.